Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to start this video off by saying, man, mod what you got. If you have a 3.6 and you want your car to be just a little bit quicker or whatever, dude, there's no shame in modding your car. Whatever it is that you have that you want to drive, you know, and that you want it to be a certain kind of way, just do it. Don't sit over there and overthink. Don't sit over there worrying about what everyone else has to say. It's your car and at the end of the day you're going to be driving something that you built that you put a lot of effort and time into and sure if it's not as fast as the next quickest thing out there you know so what man it's all about building and enjoying whatever it is that you have to drive um and if you sit there and you want to let other people take your joy away from you just because they have something a little bit better or whatever then hey man i don't know what to tell you but all I can say is that you should you should understand that you're blessed with what you have. You have a platform to build off of. And if you want to build off of it, bro, just do it or whatever. That's all I have to say on it. Just just do it. Don't be thinking about it too much. Like I said, don't be worrying about what everybody else has to say. Like, that's it. Today, I just wanted to address everyone and let you guys know what three mods that you'll need in order to be just as fast we're sometimes a little bit quicker than an RT. Now I'm saying RT, I'm not saying Scat Pack, I'm not saying Hellcat or anything like that yet. I'm just saying RT. So on the statistical website or whatever that's, that gives everybody zero to 60 times uh, throughout the few years and stuff like that, um, the V6 on there, it shows as a 6.2, 6.3 car stock. And I can attest to that whenever I was stocked with my car, the best that I could get out of it at times is 6.2, uh, but most of the time I was hitting 6.3, 6.4. Now I run a 5.1. I'll throw a video up of it here. My car is not tuned whatsoever. And my car right now is just as quick in the zero to 60 as a RT, which runs a 5.1 in the zero to 60 if it's not spinning. I don't know about top end. I know I saw on the list that their quarter mile is a 13.7. And to get a 13.7 out of a V6 in the quarter mile, you're gonna have to throw the kitchen sink at it in a. Right now we're addressing an RT. Later on, once the car gets tuned, I will be in scat pack territory. I've seen guys get a 3.9 out, uh, out of a boosted V6 or whatever. And I already done told y'all that we're gonna hit 500 wheel on this car. Um, so the zero to 60 time on that and the quarter mile time on that, I have no idea what it will actually be. I just know that it's going to be a, a fair amount quicker. But as far as the three mods with no bull crap, no cap, no nothing, I got the videos for y'all. I've done the mods. Y'all have seen the mods on the channel. So your car is underpowered, right? So if your car is underpowered, you need an easier way to move the car and get it to accelerate a lot faster than, you know, what it normally does. You got to make the car act like it's faster than what it is. And the way that you do that is by changing the gear ratio in the car. And to do the gear swap in your car, you only need two things. You need a 390 gear. You can get a 370. Those are awesome as well. But I have a 390. 390 is what has worked for me. I have 390 gears, 230 millimeter axles off of a Hellcat. And that's it for the rear end. Yes, I have Brembo's all around the car and I've changed the knuckles in the rear, but the knuckles, the diameter in which that it accepts the axle is not any different or whatever. I had somebody try to tell me that, oh yeah, they're different, blah, 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 blah. I took a digital caliper and ended up blowing it up in between both of the spindles. I didn't take a picture of it, but they were both the exact same. So all that you'll need for the rear end to run the 390 gears or limited slip diff is 
the diff itself and the 230 millimeter axles. If you're on the V6, I already told you, you gotta notch the spring links just for a little bit for clearance, but that is it. There's nothing else that is needed. It is that simple. Mod number two, exhaust. A catback system, yes, that's actually beneficial in a way. Um, it changes the sound of your car. If you want a more aggressive sound, you know, you can do that. To get them, for me to have gotten the most out of my exhaust, I removed the cats. I have catless downpipes. Um, I'll throw a picture of them up here and I'll throw a sound clip in for you guys to hear that. Catless down pipes on my car. I have, a, I have a three inch X pipe. I have two vibrant resonators and then I have the two active mufflers. I'm going to be changing the exhaust up still because it is a fair amount of rasp in it and there's always room for improvement. Um, and I think it could sound just a little bit better with uh, what I'm about to add to it. But that being said, to get the most flow out of your exhaust, it needs less restriction. That helps your, your engine's just a big old a big old pump you pump air in you pump exhaust out you mix it in with the fuel and boom you know so the fastest you can get air into the car and exit it out of the car the more efficient it will be and the, the more power that it can make there won't be any you know real restriction or or anything hindering the airflow so i have a full aftermarket exhaust system from the engine all the way back that helps with flow tremendously i have the gearing that helps with with uh acceleration tremendously um, so for mod number three, you can go either way. So you can take it upon yourself to go get a custom tune, which will possibly more than likely put you over what a stock RT can do in zero to 60. If you don't want to do a custom tune, just go ahead and get a cold air intake. Those are the three. Like I said, the engine is a big old pump. You want to pump air in, mix it with the fuel, get it all the way out as fast as possible. If you want a simple one, 390 gears, exhaust, and an intake. That is it. That is my, my car right now, as it sits, that is all that it has. 390 gears, intake, and exhaust. And it's just as fast as a, uh, as a stock RT that is in optimal settings for a zero to 60. I've hit 5.1 multiple times. I'm trying to shoot, I'm shoot, I've been trying to hit the fours without a tune just to prove that, you know, the car is faster, but I just can't break the wall. I've, I've hit a wall. As far as with tuning, um, if you're gonna do any tuning, I highly recommend just doing HP tuners. It gives you full, complete access of your car. You do not have to tune it. You can take your car to get professionally tuned. It's relatively cheap compared to a lot of other stuff and you're gonna get the most bang out of your buck for it right now the car sits at 257 wheel and it's at 257 wheel and it's running 5.1 in the 0 to 60 not just once not just twice but three times I got three videos I'll play them all for you first one I was super excited Other two was just like okay I, I hit the wall I can't break it I mean that's pretty much all I'm not sitting out here trying to come for RTs or anything like that I'm not sitting out here comparing my car to just you know uh, I'm not out here saying my car is faster than all V8s or anything like that all I'm saying is that if you want if you have a 3.6 Pentastar and you want that thing to be just as fast as an RT uh, which is the trim above all you'll need is three mods and you can do it without breaking a sweat so yeah, that's gonna end it off for this video. Um, like I said, I don't do no joking. I don't do no capping as far as, you know, when it comes to these kind of mods. Y'all have seen me put them on a car myself. Y'all have seen it in the videos on the street. That is what it is. You can take it however you want. 
just know that this car is about to get a whole lot faster than what it already is if you're already mad about the car now you know i'm gonna feel real bad for you whenever this car uh gets out there and it's a whole lot faster than you know other stuff on the road so i'm not out here hiding any information or anything like that you know i'm out here letting you guys know because i want to see everybody else eat that's all i got for you guys today these next few videos are going to be popping off with the mods uh like i said big things not little things and hopefully you know we can go out there and really you know put some numbers out and my goal right now before we boost the car, this is why it's been taking a little bit long and we're also waiting on other things to be developed. Um, is I want that stop, I want that NA V6 record. And my friend, he has it and I'm coming for you, buddy. Uh, 4.4 seconds is what he says that he has. So that is what we're gonna be going for. Um, and hopefully we can get there in a hurry. If not, he gets to hold it. So, uh, but yeah that's what i'm gonna leave you guys off with i really appreciate you guys and thank you for continuing to check out the video so consider liking the video uh, commenting down below your thoughts on the mods and subscribing to the channel this has been lucky and i'll catch you on the next one